Man, this uh, this one's kind of a rough topic to talk about. I usually uh, don't really get involved in these particular kinds of situations. I genuinely don't care about celebrity drama most of the time, you know, Entertainment Tonight or whatever, all those shows. I, I don't watch any of that. I don't really pay any attention. But this one, man, hits kind of close to home because Will Smith is an American icon. We are talking about one of the greatest of all time. YouTube, ah, he did that whole thing in the, uh, in the YouTube Rewind. And then, of course, like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, countless movies. I mean, Will Smith is a legend in and of himself, you know? So when you see a situation like this, man, it just, I don't know, it hits close to home. So if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say that, Will Smith's wife, uh... I I don't I don't know what to call her at this point. Uh, Jada Pinkett Smith basically got outed for having a relationship with uh, the singer August Alsina. Okay, so uh, that was what kind of started this whole thing, and then a bunch of crazy stuff started coming out, a bunch of ridiculous things, and it was pretty crazy, right? I mean, it just it, it's been blowing up all over social media over the last few days, and it's something that honestly is just uh, it's it's sad to watch because like you can you can see the pain in Will Smith's face when he's talking about this. And honestly, I think this whole situation just has a lot that it proves, if we're being honest. A lot of stuff that a lot of people are always talking about not being true, not being real, a bunch of ridiculous things, right? And I, I think that this situation proves what I'm about to be telling you guys. So I guess Jada has this red table talk or whatever that she does. I, I, I Once again, I, I'm not too hip on what all this really is and what it means or whatever. But uh, basically, I, I guess her and Will Smith sat down and she uh, basically confirmed that she did have a romantic relationship, quote unquote, with August Alsina and, and Will Smith. And he, he talks about everything. So uh, the rundown, at least from what I understand, I guess Will Smith and Jada were, quote unquote, not exclusive to one another, even though they were literally married. So, I mean, you would think that that means that you're exclusive. But I mean, of course, there's relationships out there where married people, they get down with just like talking to other people and being in relationships with other people people and whatnot. And I guess that's what this situation was. I'm not necessarily sure about that, but Jada Pinkett Smith does confirm that uh, the whole thing basically happened and she calls it a quote unquote romantic entanglement. It wasn't just, you know, oh, hey, I decided to basically cheat on you because, you know, we, we weren't quote unquote exclusive, even though we were still married, you know, it, it was more or less like a, a romantic entanglement. You know, she, she didn't mean to do it, you know, just a, a little happenstance, a little mistake. Sometimes it happens, you know, sometimes you end up just fucking somebody. And, and you never meant to do it, right? It was an accident. Oops, you know, I, I accidentally sat down on him. I don't know, it just just a stupid situation. But uh, but before we even get any further, man, I'm gonna show a little clip here, and I want you to pay attention especially to my man Will Smith because this dude just looks emotionally destroyed by all of this news. And it seems that he just kind of wants to, like, clear the air and understand what's actually going on here, and uh, Jada kind of just covers it up a little bit. She, she doesn't, it doesn't seem like tell the full story or, like, really break it down correctly so just go ahead and take a look I made a statement for me that wasn't a statement I made mm -hmm. that went cray cray and one of the reasons why I wanted to come to the table is the media the headlines <sighs> We specifically never said anything. anything. I mean, if if that doesn't scream out like emotional destruction, just an absolute nuclear bomb to the heart, I don't know what does. You know what I'm saying? That just, I don't know. He looks like he hasn't slept in days. And honestly, I mean, with all this in the news, it probably is kind of hard to sleep. People probably blowing his phone up and everything like that. But I mean... Wow, you know what I'm saying? The, the whole situation is already weird enough, right? Maybe not in terms of like Hollywood or whatever, because there's always some sort of stupid stuff going on over there. But I mean, ju just in general of like a relationship and whatnot, it's just something I don't think anyone really expected. This is completely out of left field. And I mean, who who really was sitting around thinking like, yeah, Will Smith is getting cheated on. I'm going to go ahead and guess probably not that many people. So I'm going to just call it for what it is. She cheated on Will Smith. This whole situation was cheating or whatever. I'm, I'm really not one for the sugar coating. I don't know if you guys know that about me. Maybe if you watched my channel for a long time or whatever, you probably get that, I guess. But uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just not one for the sugar coating the words. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and break this down. They, they weren't in some, what is it called? Like a polyamorous relationship where they're just out here seeing like six different people together and whatnot. And they were, of course, still a couple or whatever. They they were in like a monogamous relationship where it was like supposed to be kind of exclusive, but I guess they kind of went through a temporary split or whatever. And even though they were still married and whatnot, and it was well understood that they were still partners or whatever, 
she decided, oh, you know what? It's time to go hang out with August Alsina. Now, when it comes down to it, man, that's cheating, at least in my opinion. I mean, I, I, I would understand if this was something that, like, they both agreed to do. Like, oh, let's go just see other people and do other things and do some crazy stuff. But, I mean, just going through a temporary break in the relationship, that, that's not breaking up. That, that's not being divorced. That's not being exclusive. So what she did was wrong, and she did cheat. At least that's how I see it. I mean, you may see it differently, she probably sees it differently, and that's why she's sugarcoating all this shit, but I mean, that that's just how I feel about the situation. Now, l let me go ahead and explain this for you, okay? We're talking about Will Smith, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Men in Black, the music, everything, right? Will Smith. We're not talking about some random dude, right? You know, if I got cheated on in a relationship, Probably not that surprising. You know, pe people would not be stunned by that. That would be something that honestly could be expected to a certain extent. But uh, when we're talking about Will Smith, one of Hollywood's elites, one of the best, you know what I'm saying? Nobody is safe after that. If Will Smith can't get somebody to settle down and stay exclusive and, and keep them happy enough, then absolutely nobody on planet Earth can do it, okay? Nobody, all right? If I, if I had, like, let's say I went to Vegas, and I brought 50 grand with me or something, and I was betting on whether or not Will Smith could keep somebody happy and content in a relationship being Will Smith, I would probably put all my money on the fact that he could do it. But of course, I'd also be walking home broke, so I mean... Yeah, I guess that's how that goes. But, I mean, fellas, you're the vast majority of my viewers. I'm, I'm just here to tell you, man, Will Smith is down bad. And at that point, bro, like, there, there's no hope for the rest of us, okay? It, it's over with. We're done. Will Smith is, like, on the all-star team of men to live right now. And, and if he can't get satisfied to the point where, where a woman is willing to not cheat on him, bro, it, it just, it's never gonna happen for the rest of us, man. It's just GG's well played, I guess, but like I said, th there's a lot of, like, covering up this whole situation going on, especially from Jada. She, she seems to be trying to, like, uh, make this sound almost as if it's, like, not a big deal, and I think Will Smith honestly just wants it out of the news because his name's just getting kind of dragged all through it and whatever, but I feel like Jada is really trying to make this something that it's not, and, and this is something, and I'm, I'm just gonna keep it a buck too many people do shit like this they just say stupid things man they'll be like oh i i was just trying to work on myself and better myself uh, it doesn't matter the fact that four different dudes just beat my cheeks within a week even though we're in a relationship I'm, I'm, i've just been working on myself recently and i feel like that's kind of the route that jade is trying to take here where she's trying to make it out like uh she was exploring her options and she only did this because they 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 were taking a break and it's like it's not an excuse you know what i'm saying just because you're quote-unquote working on yourself or you're trying to explore your options or whatever doesn't mean the first thing you have to do is go hop on a stick. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just what it comes down to, you know? I, I always have found that statement very uh, incredible. Oh, I did it because I was trying to find myself. I was trying to better myself. I was trying to figure out who I really am. What's crazy is I've never cheated in my life, right? I I've never cheated on anyone. Just not something that I, I really have ever thought was like a cool idea or whatever. But uh, with that, right, I I've been able to learn a lot about myself without having to cheat on people. I I've figured out a lot of things about myself and, and, and built myself up without having to do that. Like, I've never understood that excuse. Like, oh, I was trying to be better, but I, I was trying to be better by destroying our relationship and killing you on the inside. It's like, that. it just, it doesn't really add up mathematically, you know what I'm saying? The, the statement does not compute. And I mean, Will Smith, obviously, is, is going through a rough time. I mean, th this has to be hard info, even if they were kind of split up for the time being or whatever. The fact that, like, he couldn't make his wife happy enough to the point that she went and had, you know, a romantic relationship, not only with just some, uh, some other person, but with another other celebrity and now it's all in the news and will looks like a fool to a lot of people i mean that, that's got to be painful you know what i'm saying so i especially don't really i guess understand or like the uh the quickness that she kind of took in rushing this situation out to the media and, and making a big i guess a spectacle out of it you know rumbling start going through hollywood that jada pinkett smith and august alcina hooked up and, and like her first reaction is to get will smith on the show and be like oh yeah i did it yeah you know I mean, August was all up in my guts, but it was a romantic entanglement, you know, I, I was, I was doing this because, uh, I was romantically entangled, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was the first thing she kind of thought to do, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that just kind of proves something to me, man. If, if these Hollywood celebrities can't find happiness, if, if these multi-millionaires can't find happiness, being one of the most famous and, you know, acclaimed actors or actresses of all time, 
if that's not enough to keep somebody happy, then, then what is, man? Like, if Will Smith can't stop his wife from cheating on him... How is some dude working at McDonald's supposed to keep his girlfriend happy? You know what I'm saying? I mean, the chances are pretty low at this point, bro. It just, I don't know. This is like the example that I think we didn't want, but we honestly needed. Because, I, I like I said, I think it proves a point, you know? Relationships, they break down like this all the time, okay? And people say all this stupid things about fixing themselves or finding options or whatever. And it never makes sense. It never works out. And, you know, people are always left after a cheating situation thinking like, you know, how could I have been better? What could I have done in order to make this not happen? They blame themselves. Will is probably to a certain extent blaming himself for, self for this whole situation, even though it's not his fault whatsoever. And it really just comes down to Jada and, and what she did. So if that kind of situation can happen to someone like that, it, it definitely can happen to someone like you or me. That's what I'm saying, man. You got to watch out before you get into stuff like this for real. Relationships kill people. I'm dead set on that idea. Relationships can kill people because, you know, you, you give a bunch to somebody like this and then they turn around and do some of the worst things possible that they can do to you. You know, you can give somebody everything that you can and then next thing you know, they, they take all that for granted for, for something worse most of the time. I mean, just consider Will Smith and August Alsina. Which one do you think is better off? Which one do you think is winning more? Which one do you think makes more money and, and does better and is probably, honestly, the more ideal person to be with? August Alsina, which I'll give him some credit. He, he's had some good songs and whatever, and I respect him, but him or Will Smith? You know what I'm saying? But that doesn't matter anymore, apparently, you know? The moment that a relationship hits a hiccup, I guess, is the first moment that you can run off and, and fuck someone else, right? The first sign uh, of, of a struggle in a relationship, which every relationship has struggles, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the first thing you do is go and bang August Alsina, and then you get on this show and, and make a bunch of excuses for it at the red table while Will is emotionally in shipwreck and just wants to know the truth, but you can't tell him that. I mean, at, at the end of the day, if you're going to pull something like this, at least be able to tell the truth and be able to just be straight up with somebody. I mean, if you're not brave enough to, like, tell someone to their face what you did and why you did it, like, for real instead of sugarcoating it, then, then don't even do it, you know what I'm saying? Because it just makes you look like a clown. I don't think Will Smith is the clown in this situation at all. I, I think Will Smith got himself in a bad situation that he really had no control over. So I, I just think this whole situation proves a lot of points to uh, to people all around the planet, you know? But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at Subtoptimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Not getting in another relationship, that's for sure. And signing out.